Ambiente al dente naturalmente, il grande Torino, l'angolino Pinco Pallino. Galleria, trattoria, bella casa, il casolare, cucina comoda, salotto, cucinotto, il camminetto, la cantina, il giradischi, il tinello, la tettoia. The last day of the symposium on cultural diplomacy in Germany was dedicated to those Italians who are living abroad and their importance to the cultural heritage of Germany. The first secretary of the Italian embassy opened the event with a very inspiring speech about the role of Italians living in Germany and their efforts to break free from stereotypes. There's still today a very strong fascination uh, in Germany for the Italian culture. This is a form of art which lives in contamination with other art forms. So we perform with musicians, with painters, we create projects together. And I must say the contrary is also true. Um, Germany has uh, always uh, been seen in Italy as a, as a model. The feeling that you can have in, in, in Berlin, it's, it's magic. It's also difficult to to describe, but it's like a freedom. We see freedom. Young people see freedom, creativity all around. I have one sentence, it's very nice, from a film. Life is too short not to be Italian. But I transformed it. Life is too short not to be Italian in Berlin. With this statement, the event continued with a variety of performances celebrating Italian art and culture. One such event included a modern mime show entitled Call Me, directed and played by Sarah Ercoli, an Italian fashion show organized by Lo Spaventa Passeri, Viva La Lisa, and Beatrice Paola Ruffini, and some Italian folk music played by Il Pizzicati, to which participants and special guests felt obliged to dance. Of course, as is customary, for an Italian event, so wine and some other delicacies were served to provide a little more of La Bella Italia for the occasion.